Janice Wheeler here. I'm the president of the Art of Management and we've been working with healthcare professionals for a very long time, like 30 years, helping them grow their practices. Today my topic is how to keep people from leaving your practice or five different reasons why they might leave your practice if we want to take it on the other angle. So generally patients are not fickle. They're not like people who just want to bounce around from practice to practice. Most people want to get a doctor and get a loyalty going and really believe in their doctor and stay with you. So they have peculiarities and they have specific needs and these are things that you have to find out about because if you don't know what they are, you can't obviously meet their expectations. So. I thought I would just cover five points why a person might leave the practice besides you know, passing on or they've moved to a different city or something that is uh, the more expected. We're talking today about like why people would ditch you. So these are not in any specific order by the way. So one of the key big major complaints is the practice didn't run on time. They arrived as a patient on time for their appointment and they had to sit there and sit there and wait. And there can be reasons why that happened and some of them are out of control, not under your control, let's put it that way. Um, could be that the doctor and the staff arrive late for work. Could be that the doctor talks too long in one of the appointments, which then runs 10 or 15 minutes behind, which then puts the whole day behind. And we wanna work out how that can be prevented. And sometimes you fit in emergency patients in which throws the whole schedule off. Um, and that's a little harmful to the people who actually showed up on time for their already set appointment. So that's something to be really looked at and work out solutions for. Number two, but not in any particular order, is the care factor is missing. Patients come in expecting to be cared for. There's an old fashioned word called cosseted, which means really cuddled and taken care of and made to feel welcome and so on. And that's very important because that's what you're there for is to give them the service that they deserve to have. And they really are looking for that and if they don't see it, they may leave and go to another doctor who they're hoping will have that factor. Another one that really turns people off and has turned me off in the past in fact, is walking into a practice that looks old fashioned and dirty and kind of downscale, you know? And it doesn't take a lot to fix that. Some papering on the walls or painting on the walls or getting some nice artwork from, and, and inexpensive, you can get it from Michaels, from Ikea, from different art stores, very inexpensive, but some really, really good stuff that you can alternate and move them around room to room to make them look fresher. Another thing is the doctors sometimes can talk to, and the staff, can, because you're super trained, can talk to the patient at too high a level and use two bigger words that they don't know what means and at that point they tune out. And it's very important to watch out that you are understandable to the patient as far as your discussion goes. Now, there's another shade of that that is the fifth point that I want to bring up and that's that the patient doesn't always fully understand the logic in your procedures and why you're doing this and what it means and so on to them so it's very important that you see that and observe. Did the patient really understand what you were explaining to them? And because sometimes they also don't understand the cost and why the, you know, what's, what things are costing and why it should cost that amount. So these are things to watch out for and to really work on with your team to make sure that the patient gets the ultimate care that they were expecting when they walked in the door today. Okay, so do well and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.